Scott Menzel, We Live Entertainment. Hi, Scott. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Good, good, good. Excited for our film. How does it feel to steal the thunder from Tom Hanks in a movie? No, we, I, I really, um, we've been talking about it all day, just how blessed and grateful we are to have been able to act with him. He is our, I mean, we grew up loving him, being touched by his performances and being, uh, you know, he, he just, um, he was so formative to each of our souls do, during our lifetime that it's a dream come true to be able to uh, do a scene with him. I couldn't believe it when I stayed in the, in the, in the project and uh, just humbled and inspired to see such an enormous actor be so professional and so generous and loving in his uh, delivery. I mean, uh, the two of you together are just delightful. I mean, there's no other way of putting it. Thank you. Thank you. It was... It was delightful to do too. So I'm glad it, it's going through. <laughs> so I would like to like kind of start this off by asking you, um, what was the audition process like? Can you walk me through it? Yeah, the audition was, I I just sent a tape very casually. I, you know, I, I didn't think much of it. I, I do, I did it with my heart and everything, but it just, Days went by and my agents keep telling me, you're in the mix, you're in the mix. And then they told me, guess what? Tom Hanks is attached to the project. And of course, my jaw dropped <laughs> to the floor and I'm mm. like, ah! And so I said, don't get your, uh, your hopes up. Just uh, be chilled and cool. And as time went by and I was still in the mix, um, I was like, maybe this is a reality until I stayed in the project. And of course, it was like uh, a feeling of, of celebration. Unlike, you know, it was very special. Nothing like ever happened before, you know, in my life. So, so um, that was basically it. And I had a Zoom with Mark before. That was like the last stage of the audition. And we connected beautifully on the Zoom too. We just were very, um, we started chatting about many things. And after that, I was in. And of course, I was very surprised and grateful. <laughs> So I, I was very curious. I mean, there's so many great scenes in the movie. And I, I, what I love the most about it is that it, it strikes this really interesting tone where it's very funny at times, but it's also very angry at times, right? And it's very depressing. Mm -hmm. And it, it's wonderful because you kind of walk away from it and you feel good, even though there's a lot to chew on, right? There's a lot mm -hmm. to, to, to remember. Yeah. So yeah. is there a particular scene now that you've seen the film and now that it's coming out that you look back on and you're very proud of? Uh, well, I haven't seen the film. I will tomorrow for the first time and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I guess I love the driving scene because I think that something clicks in that scene, uh, scene for Marisol and for Otto. Like uh, it's a scene where I, f I felt that Otto kind of took charge and he said, okay, I'm, I'm going to step up now, you know, because he perceives the vulnerability of her. So there's this, there's this correspondence between the characters' vulnerabilities. And he kind of takes the place of the father. So this fatherly dynamics starts with Marisol. And I think that was a pivotal uh, scene for both characters. And I, I had a superb time filming it. And I will fondly remember it forever. So it was great. I love that scene too, and especially like when he snaps and he's like, he's like, yeah. let me tell you, he's yeah. like, let me tell you, you're smarter than these people. These people are idiots. You can do this. And like, um, I love that. Mm -hmm. And then my uh, last question, because I know you have to wrap and you've been doing this all day. Um, were you familiar with this project before signing on to it? Like, were you familiar with the book or the, the previous film? Actually, I wasn't. No, it was a complete surprise. I read the book once I got to Pittsburgh. I couldn't get it in Mexico and I, I, I arrived before filming the movie and I was gifted the book and I read it and it's just such a beautiful piece of literature. Uh, and all the elements of comedy and, dra and drama and just the very heart that was beautif beautifully translated into the, the script by David McGee. It, it, you know, it was like a line and the line was kept intact. And uh, well... I, I I felt very moved from reading the book and then passing to the script. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Have a lovely evening and uh, best you. of luck to you tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the film. Uh, thank you. <laughs>